I tried making money on YouTube by only using AI tools for 90 days without ever having to show my face. And here's how we went. Spoiler, the channel is still active with over 30 thousand subscribers and we make over two dollars per month in passive income this is something that anyone can do no matter what skill level they have at making youtube videos because as i said in the beginning my goal with this channel was to create a youtube business where not only that i wouldn't be involved in the content creation wouldn't show my face and still be able to make money but only use ai tools so here's what i did Step number one, I tried to find videos that could easily be mass produced to the point where even a robot could do them. And the best option I found here was to be research based channel. I chose to do top five products for the videos, not only because it was super easy to find product descriptions on the internet, but also because that would give me two ways of monetizing the content. One, I would make money from the YouTube ads that will play in the videos. And two, I would make money from the Amazon referral program. Now, step two, for the script, I was using a tool called Jarvis or Jasper, where the only thing I had to do was log in into the software, log in into the program and write a command. And then from there, what the tool would do, what the software would do is go on, on the internet, scalp the internet for information, whether Google product reviews or Amazon product descriptions and everything and come up with one, two or three paragraphs about each product that I put in there and write the script itself. Now I have to mention guys that when I got those scripts reviewed by one of my professional scriptwriters, he said that they need a little bit of polishing here and there to be great, but they're good enough to get started and publish with. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this step will cost you 99 bucks per month, but there are cheaper options out there like copy.ai and writer. Going on to step number three, we needed to add some voice. We need to take those scripts and bring them to life. But because I didn't want to get involved and we couldn't do the classic YouTube automation formula where I would hire a professional voice actor to do the scripts and read them out loud. In this case, we had to use text to speech. After testing all the text to speech softwares out there like speech Hello, Speechify, the Amazon one. I found that Well Said Labs was the best option at the time, but also the most expensive one. This step will set you back $199 per month, but again, all the other alternatives are cheaper. Regardless, I went on and this time all I had to do was download the script that Jasper would generate and upload it to Well Said Labs, and there I would have an amazing voiceover. The cool thing about the software is that you can choose between a male or a female voice, and not only that, but you could choose a young adult, a teenager, even elderly people. And again, this is by no means a sponsorship. I couldn't care less. With a few clicks of a button and a few minutes in waiting time, I was able to convert my artificially written script into something that sounded like a real human's voice, but it was. And step four, and now having the script and the voiceover, the last step was to put the video together with video editing. Now, at first, I didn't even think this was possible to put an eight minute video, a 10 minute video together with AI tools, but I found tools like Vietnami and Pictory to be great and exactly do this. With those softwares, I was able to take my scripts and turn them into videos, mostly using stock footage, but again, without having to have any skills or any clue about any editing software whatsoever. Of course, it wasn't going to be Hollywood production, but for 47 bucks, which is the monthly cost of those softwares, I wasn't expecting more. The cherry on top, which is gonna be step number five, the thumbnail where unfortunately I had to cheat. When I made this experiment back in the day, AI wasn't as advanced as it is now, where I heard that there is an app that can literally generate a picture based on a description. So unfortunately, what we had to do was generate the thumbnails otherwise. And because I still didn't want to be involved, I still didn't want to do any of the work myself, I simply hired a thumbnail designer to take a template from the internet, take some product images from the internet, put them together in a template, and that would cost me a few bucks per thumbnail. If you do a lot of videos, that might sound like a lot of money, but trust me guys, you can just go on Canva the com take a template take a product image and you can do the same exact thing in five to ten minutes if you want to do the work yourself now after all this work guys i started posting and here's what happened the initial plan was to release daily videos for 90 days straight because they were basically free and not that hard to create but then soon after we started posting we realized that that wasn't enough if you look in the top five product space guys and product reviews you'll see there are monster channels out there who have been posting daily or mobile daily videos for years and years to come so realize that if we really wanted to make this project a success and make money with it we had to step it up i went from posting one video a day to five videos each and every single day and it worked but let me show you the results inside a youtube studio we started posting videos on november 23rd so more than a year now 2021 and you can see that in november we were averaging anywhere from 100 to 200 views each and every every single day and then in December, we raised that up from 1 to 200 to 200 to 400 each and every single day. Going into January, that turned into anywhere from 500 to 800 views each and every single day. And then eventually in February, 800 to 1,000, maybe even 1,200 in any given day 
for the channel. Now in February, I had to take a break from posting on the channel because I got busy with my main business and scaling that. But if you can see, we had some leftover videos that I think we published around April and May, but regardless the breaks and not posting ever since. As you can see here on the right, the channel is still getting 1,983 views every 48 hours to this day and if i go to content the last day that we posted on it was june 19 so almost six months ago now where's the money Raz? well if you remember at the beginning of the video i told you that we will rely on two main ways of making money with this number one being adsense and number two being amazon affiliates when speaking of Amazon affiliate earnings, here's how it went. December 2021, we earned $44.91 with almost 2,900 clicks. January of 2022, $45.81 with almost 5,000 clicks. February, we broke a record, $196.89 with just 4,417 clicks. The crazy thing about the channel is that despite the fact that we stopped posting months and months ago, as you can see here, we've been making each and every single month anywhere from $100 to $250 on Amazon on complete autopilot. Now, in total, in 2022, this channel has generated over 338,000 views which converted into 72,200 clicks, 1,113 order items with a total value of $53,409.31. Now that's what Amazon made. I was compensated only $1,840.27 in affiliate commissions. $53,000, if you think about it, Amazon got the best deal out of this. Now this might sound cool guys, but let me tell you why I stopped posting on the channel and why I think this is not the ideal channel that you wanna start if you wanna go into the YouTube automation game or making money on YouTube. When speaking about AdSense, things weren't looking as bright. Right around the time where I decided to take a break from focusing on the channel and shift my total focus on the business, we also met the criteria for YouTube AdSense program where we would be monetized and start playing ads on the videos. We didn't get approved. Because we were using AI generated videos, there was no human touch and there was no human interaction in there. YouTube didn't consider this added value and actually market as reused content. Therefore, we never got into the program, never making any money from YouTube ads. Now, if we would have get approved into the AdSense program based on the 338,000 views that we generated in 2020 alone, you could see how the money from AdSense would stack up. Overall, I don't think this is a great idea if you wanna start your first YouTube channel, but for me, it was a good experiment and I'm still making making grocery money or gym subscription to this day from those Amazon commissions. Overall, this cost me $345 per month. We actually posted four to five months of content going into that YouTube channel, so I could say we broke even. My advice would be to start a proper YouTube automation channel. For example, I have this channel right here that's making anywhere from eight to $12,000 each and every single month. I don't have to create any videos myself, show my face in front of the camera, and if you wanna learn more about how exactly to do that, you can watch this video right here.